So here's end of day four. It's kind of like end of day two because there was rain each day and I had to stop and start again. Took a while, I've never really, I've only done some small interior framing. So this was somewhat new to me, but everything worked out pretty good. Everything's pretty much square. I got some fine adjustments to make. Everything's bolted down, all the holes lined up. Yeah, pretty happy. This is my uh, patented central bracing system. All the uh, the gravel and the grass out there, there's rock like eight inches underneath, so you can't get a stake to stay in. So I just drilled into my new concrete, which was a little bit hard to do, but either way, I just made four clean holes, both of them down with wedge anchors. And now I got uh, now I got an easy way of lining everything up, securing everything down. And when I go to square up the tops of the walls and stuff, I'll be able to really it'd be easy to do with one person. Just pull them in, and there you go. One of the other issues I ran into is whoever laid these blocks, I guess, didn't look at the plans because probably half of them all the anchor bolts landed right underneath the stud. So I had to buzz them all off with a, at the uh, angle grinder, go rent a rotary hammer, buy a bunch of new wedge anchors, and re-drill. So yeah, if you're getting this done and someone's laying block or putting in the anchors, make sure they know where to put them because it's a pain in the butt. Put all the headers at the top the concrete guy recommended that so if you don't like the height of your windows you can just easily slide everything down and just uh, cut out the trimmers and the jack studs and make a new rough opening but they're pretty good where they are I'm happy with that so I don't have to touch them
right, so here's end of day five, kind of. Just won't stop raining here. I'd say up until this point I have maybe 15 actual hours into this. And if I had to do it again, now that I kind of know what I'm doing, I think I could probably do this in a day, all of this, to tell you the truth. But I got these beams up, everything looks pretty good. And yeah, that's it, coming along. All right, so here's the small garage door all framed up with the rough opening and uh, I think the proper bracing for the garage doors and motors. I know this two by six is supposed to come all the way to the ground, but if I did that, I had to pretty much double it up all the way around, but the garage door guy says he can work with that concrete block at the bottom. He'll just tap con in the bottom brace. That's that. jammed out. Hopefully that's what the garage guy wants. So to cut out the OSV out of these windows, I just drill a hole in each corner. Then go around to the other side. Mark them and create a square. All right, 
points and then just find your holes. Mark them. some sort of straight edge. You get the idea. All right, it's all sheeted. Windows are cut out. This is a pain in the ass with one person, even though it's not very big or high. Especially with this grade like that, it's impossible to get a ladder even. I think this is end of day. Well, not end, middle of day, seven or something, six or seven. All right, so this side is wrapped. That corner is a little bit messed up, but the rest is pretty flat. Not bad for doing nine feet by yourself. Oh yeah, don't forget, there's windows in behind there when you have smashed the stapler. I rigged up this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I'll show you in a second when I take this off, but it just holds it at the top, holds it at the bottom, and allows it to kind of roll all the way around. Yeah. So here's what I used to hold the tie back up. Just put a piece of rebar drill the hole down there, stuck it up, went up inside the uh, tube and just held it like a paper towel holder. And this one went up top. Worked actually really well. So it's all sheet, uh, sorry, all wrapped up. I have a few small touches to do, but looks pretty good, not too wrinkly. Fairly easy. I stapled them all in. I didn't use plastic cap nails or staplers or anything. I asked a buddy who owns a renovation company and says they only use staples, so if they can get away with it, I can get away with it. That's it.